everybody, I'm Donna from Donna's DIY. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd get started on this little gem that when I purchased that other piece of furniture, this guy gave me this one for free. So not too bad. Um, I think we're gonna paint it in a Paris gray. So if you're interested, make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on my latest videos. I try to post a new one each week. So why don't we just jump on in and get started on this one. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get started on this and what I have is Annie Sloan chalk paint in um, Paris Gray. And I'm using her brush. Oh, let's just, we're gonna put two coats on. keep going on this and after I do the first coat we'll come back and I'm going to do the second. Pretty much get the idea. Do the same thing as the first coat. And then I'll go ahead and I'll finish this and um, we'll do the next step. We've done the two coats um, and now we're just going to do a bunch of layering. I'm going to take the Annie Salone uh, graphite and I'm just going to kind of dry brush um, here's a little bit of water basically <clears throat> need a little bit more water I just want to get really watery and I'm just going to kind of dry brush um, Here's a little bit of water. Basically, <clears throat> need a little bit more water. I just want to get really watery. And I'm going to come back with a paper towel and do that. So get that effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. And don't worry about um, all these little patch. We're gonna keep going over it with some um, some other colors. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a million ways to do this, but this is the way I like doing it. But don't worry about this because we're going to layer. So you're going to do this all the way over the piece and then your next step what I do is I just take the paint and um, dab it off a little and I just take one of these chip brushes and go like this. It's going to leave all these little uh, marks. I don't know if you can see that. I'll go up close. I dip down below. Leave these little, little marks. And I'm not going to blend them. So we still have two other colors that um, I'm going to do.
can't really mess this one up. You could distress it, which I might do too. It's kind of making it look like um, barn wood, like a gray barn wood. get the hang of it. Just light brush strokes. Kind of giving it a grain look. No, don't worry. Looks like a mess, but it'll turn out. Uh -oh. Looks like a crazy mess, but I'm not worried about it. Doing the rest of this, and then we're going to do uh, the next step. Alright, now we're going to go on to my next color, Obison Blue, and I'm just taking a chip brush, dabbing it. And I know, this looks like a hot mess, but we're not done. I'm just doing the same thing that I did here, just lightly putting the color on. See how it gives this blue. So funny on camera, this looks horrible. Oh, we're not done. Looks pretty cool. I did it in a blue. Remember, I'm still not done. Okay, so as you can see, the blue that I have in here, and we're gonna do some um, one step. Amy Howard's um, Bohas Buff, which is a white. You can use any chalk paint, any paint, whatever you'd like. And we're going to keep going over it. We're going to keep layering. And um, we're going to do some distressing. 
and it kind of looks like this old weathered cement thing that's been sitting forever but it looks pretty cool and let's do our next layer so now we're doing the white I'm just dragging it just like the last time And here, I got too much, but that's okay, I'll sand it off with some other colors. Not a big deal. See, I'm just dragging the brush. keep on with this and as you can see it does um, all these different uh, colors in here so I'm gonna go over some more with some blue and you just kind of keep layering till you get the effect that you want and as you can see it all the little the spots will disappear this I'll blend, I'll sand off a little, but you just keep layering. So we'll be right back. Um, I sanded it all over, brushed it up, and now I'm just going to take um, some of the dark wax. And I'm just going to go into um, some of these areas here You can distress as much as you want. We're going to put some dark wax and some um, right on here. I mixed both dark and clear wax. I don't want it super dark.
up putting the white wax on it. Just put it on with steel wool, no biggie. And then I came back and I put some rose gold metallic luster. You just put that on with your finger as I did up here. And there you have it. New little shabby chic headboard done in some light blues. Uh, turned out pretty nice, I think. Not too bad for a freebie. So, before you go, make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on my latest videos. Till next time, everybody, I'm Donna from Donna's DIY. Bye!